Hi YouTube, how are you guys doing? So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a, a quick review video of this new bag that I got um, two weeks ago. This is the Pochette Matisse um, reverse monogram uh, print. And I actually didn't do any more unboxing video for this bag because I'm already getting tired of unboxing videos. I'm sorry to say that. No offense to anybody who's doing unboxing videos. But I'm more like into reviews, worth it, not worth it type of bags, or should I sell or keep it, those type of videos. So I'm just going to be doing a quick review on this one. So apparently, um, this bag already like has been hyped up like since a few years ago, like around 2016 or 15. But there's a lot of um, recalling issues that happened with this bag due to um, glaze canvas, uh, no, glazing issue, um, hardware issue, um... What else? This um, this lock being wonky or not being straight, thread issues. There's a lot of issues behind this bag. But good thing uh, I got this bag in a very good condition, brand new uh, with plastic wrapping, but I already removed it because I don't want any um, issue with the hardware. Um, so I removed the plastic wrappings right away. And this Twilly, I actually got it on Amazon. So I just I, I just wrapped it around the this strap just to make it extra before I keep going I just want to mention to you guys that I'm using the iPhone Pro Max uh, 12 and 24 PS um, so instead of using 4k 60 PS I'm using 24 PS that's where I learned this video is it's like a cinematic um cinematic setting for the iPhone Pro Max 12 so try I'm, I just want to try it out okay um, but yeah, so I actually, to be honest with you guys, I love this bag. I mean, like, if I would have known that I really gonna love this guy, I should have just saved money, saved my money, and then bought this bag like probably last year or this year. But yeah, so um, I'm actually glad that I waited before I purchased this bag. Man, I was talking for like one minute straight, and I forgot to press the record uh button here. Sorry. Anyway, so. This bag is very spacious and I'm going to open it right now. Hold up. Just to show you guys the interior. So it has a black suede interior lining and it's made in France. So I'm actually glad that I got this bag uh, brand new and made in France. Uh, all plastic wrappings in it. Uh, no BS. No defects. So yes, yeah, pretty good. I'm really happy with this bag. I actually got this bag in South Coast Plaza Louis Vuitton Boutique. One more thing before I end uh, this video is because um, since I was buying this bag at um, South Coast Plaza, so the SA asked me, oh no, before I purchased the bag, I asked her, like, hi, I just want to ask, like, is this made in uh, France? And she said, does it even matter? And I was like, what do you mean does it even matter? And she said, well, maybe because you know, like you're just getting hyped up with your friends or YouTube videos and stuff. And I said, well, what's the difference of made in France and made in USA? And she said, there's no difference. Well. I'm from USA and where is the made in USA bag from? She said San Dimas and I said, okay, no way. I want made in France, period. So I made her uh, made her get another bag in the back. Yeah, I did. I asked her to get a bag in the back, um, in the back stock. I don't know. Um, I wasn't really feeling her uh, her vibe because I feel like she got an attitude and then um, she was getting irritated with me. As soon as I told her to get another bag uh, for me to compare with this bag, she started getting quiet. I feel like she was like low-key mad hating on me. I don't know. I don't care. So I started comparing the two bags at the same time and made sure like, you know, if there's any difference between the USA and the France. And uh, I went for this one because I'm kind of iffy with the made in USA bag because I don't, it doesn't have any plastic wrappings. It doesn't look new to me. I feel like it was a return bag. And then she asked me again, does it really matter to you? And I said, ma'am, it really matters to me because I'm not buying, period. You know, and then she said, okay, I'm going to get this. So the the price of this bag is like $2,100 uh, plus tax. I think it was 2300 So apparently this bag costs um, only 1800 Not only, I mean, 1800 is still a lot of money. Uh, a few years ago, it was like 1800 And then it made a big jump or like um, price increase to 20% or 25% a few years after. So now it's 2100 So if I were you guys, if you guys are really going to get this bag, um... If you guys are really dying to get this bag or you really guys need to have it in your collection, I'm going to say you guys get it now because this might go to 2500 eventually. I don't know. Overall, I think this bag is worth it. 
So thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for upcoming video. And thank you very much. Bye.